with me is evangelist Heather Lashley. She's um, also from Barbados, but a tremendous minister of the gospel. I, I, she's a member of our church, but very often she's out ministering. But um, since she's free today, I told her I'll bring her with me to introduce you to her. Amen. And I, I said I'll let her give her five minutes to just greet you in the name of Jesus. A very powerful woman of God. And doesn't take nothing for her to preach because <laughs> she's anointed. <laughs> I wanted to come and greet you in the name of Jesus, Reverend Heather Lashley. And um, I know that she will, she will give you a warm greeting in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. When I was told I would accompany my pastor to this service today, I began to seek the Lord as to if I were asked to greet you, what I should say. And so late last night, the Lord began to speak to me from Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, which says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee, and be not dismayed, for I am thy God, yea, I will help thee. I'm upholding thee with my righteous right hand. And when the Lord spoke these words through the prophet Isaiah, he was speaking to the citizens of Judah who were now captives living in Babylon. It was a perilous time like the time that we are living in. It was a time of distress and difficulty. And God is sending a word to his people who are now residing in a foreign land saying, Fear thou not, I am with thee. Even though the temple is gone and the palaces and the great houses are destroyed and the gates of Jerusalem are burnt and the wall is knocked down. He says, Fear thou not, I am with thee. Wherever you are, because I've made a covenant with you that I will never leave you nor forsake you. And so God is saying to someone this morning, Fear thou not, don't allow the situation of COVID-19, finances, employment, to cause you to be discouraged because God is with you. He's with us to help us. Don't be dismayed. Don't be distressed. Don't be anxious for nothing. Don't allow anxiety to take hold of your life and cause you to lose your faith. Right there where you are this morning, you've got to know that God is with you. It doesn't matter what you have or what you don't have. God is with you. And God is saying to the church of Jesus Christ at a time like this, in spite of all that is going now I am in the midst of thee like he said in Psalm 46 though the earth be removed and the heavens square God is in the midst of her she shall not be moved so dry your tears this morning don't lose hope look up for God is still the God who is able to work miracles he has not lost his power this is a glorious time for the church to stand and shine and let the world see that we have a God whether you are getting a vaccine seen or not entitled or not he is told Jehovah Rapha he is told the God that he left uh, whether you are getting unemployment or stimulus uh, because the Lord is your shepherd uh, you will lack nothing whatever it is that today that you are going to remember that God has made a promise to you that he will never leave you he will never forsake you he's right there with you on your couch on your bed of sickness he's right there with you as you are tabulating this morning month's expenses and looking at what you have and what you don't have and what you hope to have. Keep your faith in God. Keep your trust in God. For they that trust in God will never be ashamed. They will be like Mount Zion. They will not be moved. Fear thou not save God. For I am with thee. And be not dismayed, for I am your God. I am helping you with my righteous right hand. Like David said, why so downcast, O my soul? Put your trust in God. God bless you. It's certainly been a pleasure to be here to worship with you today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I tell you, it doesn't take long for her to preach. Just a snap. 